India is the world's second largest cotton producer at 6.1 million tons. It is renowned for its high quality cotton fiber. The cotton industry in India is a crucial component of its agricultural landscape, providing livelihoods to millions of farmers. Cotton cultivation spans across various states, with Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana, and Andhra Pradesh being prominent cotton growing regions. The cotton sector plays a vital role in India's economy contributing significantly to both domestic and international textile industries. After increasing to record high between 2000 to 2014, India cotton production has experienced a significant fall of up to 15% after 2014, and today's video is focused on understanding the reasons behind that. To do this, we have to get to know two insects, up close. Yes, I said, insects, the American ballworm and the pink ballworm. A good understanding of the first one helped us increase the production to record levels, and now, the second one is steadily eating away at the gains. Back in 2000, the increase in production started with farmers using genetically modified seeds that isolated genes from a bacterium called Bacillus thuringiensis or Bt. This coded for proteins toxic to the deadly American ballworm pest, named scientifically as Helicovapa armigera. As the share of Bt seeds rose, the average per hectare lint yields doubled to record levels of 566 kilograms. Enter the pink ballworm, or Pectinophora gossypilla in scientific terms. Three things are working in its favor. First, it infects early, as early as 40 to 45 days after sowing. Second, it's monophagous, that means it only eats one thing, that is cotton. So it has managed to develop a resistance to Bt proteins. And thirdly, it has a very short life cycle, which is 25 to 35 days from egg laying to adult moth stage. So it completes three to four generations of development in a single crop season. Standard insecticides have not been effective against this pest. It inflicts total disaster by eating the cotton balls as well as the buds and young flowers, impacting both lint quality and yields. Now mating disruption techniques are being used to stop this menace. The Central Insecticides Board and Registration Committee under the Agriculture Ministry has approved to mating disruption products, PB0 and SPLAT. It involves deploying gossiplier, a pheromone signaling chemical that is secreted by female moths to attract males. In this case, the pheromone is artificially synthesized and filled into pipes. The male adult moths are, then, attracted towards the pipes and do not mate with females during their 7 to 10 days time. So eggs don't grow into larvae. These pipes are tied to the cotton plant, ideally 40 to 45 days after sowing and can release the pheromone over a 25 square meter area. The companies are claiming increased yields of 25%, but the jury is still out. It remains to be seen whether further genetic modifications, mating disruption techniques or next generation insecticides will save this famous produce of India. That was all for today. Signing out, this is Simran. See you all next time.